Hi guys and welcome to the video I'm going to be doing on Argus for Restoration Druids. So um, if you've seen the other guys I did up for King Groff, High Command and Groffy, I'll be going through the talents first. And then I'll be showing some gameplay on it that I uh, did in Heroic and showing off some of the skills I'm going to be talking about. So for talents what you want to be taking um, is obviously Scenario Ward again, just for the fact that... Um, place it on a tank it's going to get used up instantly and the hot's going to you know start ticking which will increase your HPS. Next you obviously want to take Displace a Beast because it's just better than World Charge in general. It gives you the same as World Charge but also that sprint afterwards after that blink which is really really good to get you to places and you can dodge stuff really really easy with just one Displacer. Um, next what you want to be playing, the one big thing about um, Argus is you want to be taking Spring Blossom. The reason you want to be taking Spring Blossom is for the fact that with your Effervescence, you're always going to have all the rate in it, more than likely. So, for example, on Argus, if I just quickly get a little crayon for where your raid's going to be standing. So, to start off, your raid's going to stand, you know, around about here, all stacked up. So, you can literally just put your Effervescence down right where, you know, the raid is. So if you put your F Resonance there, every single person is going to be inside there apart from the tanks. So you can literally just make sure that the tanks, you know, have double double rejuves with your germination and life bloom and regrowth and whatever. So you know they're they you know they're fine, they're Gucci, they'll be they'll survive. But making sure that all the raid are in your F Resonance. So that when you know a tortured rage comes in and you need to, you know, burst heal. People are already in your F Resonance, they're already getting healed and you can just cast one wild growth and you'll more than likely have people really really high HP. If you're using Velens and Pridas, which is what I recommend for this boss, especially because of the fact that if you're going backwards to drop your Blight and you may get a tick of your own Blight because you're, you know, using a Wild Growth or something like that, you just want to make sure you're always surviving. And as well as the fact that the Shield Pridas gives you counts as healing, so you can just get your HPS up off that. But obviously when you're moving around, because you know you'll get cones, so there may be a cone about here, and that's a terrible drawing, I'll do one better. So you have a cone about here. So that when the raid stacked up here, you just put down a new fresh effervescence. Even if it's a lot of mana, that's the main thing you're going to be using. And obviously with that spring blossom, you're going to get lots of healing out. You know, if there's a tortured rage coming in, you just want to make sure everyone's topped off to as high as they can be. And you know, if people are already low and a, and a tortured rage is coming in, just use your trank preemptively. Because you'll heal people up before the tortured rage and you'll heal people up after. Um, but yeah, that's it for the first phase. In the second one, it's more than likely going to be the same. If I put down a marker for where, you know, tanks, tanks usually have Argus around, you know, around here or around here. And the raid will again be stacked about, if we could put a black mark for the raid, they'll all be stacked around here. So you just want to make sure your, your effervescence is always down where the most people will be. So for example, if there's going to be, you know, if there's a few ranged in the melee, put it down in the melee. If you have more melee, put it down in the melee, obviously. More people you can get in your effervescence, the better, because they're going to be healed by Supreme Blossom. Um, and obviously if the, if the tank put the boss here, then you, you obviously have to do the same. Put your effervescence down where the most people are. And obviously if you get a bomb, people, you know, more than likely the raid should have a marker to where you go with the big bomb, which will be opposite the bosses. So, you know, if you get the big bomb, just displace her out, you know, go to them and just wait there for the tank. If the tank's not going to be there, just go bear form, bark skin, iron fur, whatever, and you you won't die, especially in heroic and normal. The big bomb doesn't hit for a lot, so you just want to make sure, you know, use defensives when you need to. And obviously when you get into the phase with the adds, you don't really want to put your FRSs down here when there's all the adds because loads of people are going to be on different adds. So you just want to make sure that you've double rejuved all the tanks. These yellow markers are for where the adds are going to be. Um, double rejuve the tanks because they're obviously going to be taking the most damage. And just rejuving or life blooming anyone who gets these um, cosmic rays. So you know when they get hit they're just going to get healed instantly. You also want to make sure if there is a cosmic blast get off, which more than likely does happen, you want to save Velens or, or Trank, something like that, so that if you do a stack or two stacks, you can just quickly Trank and you can heal for it. A lot of groups do let one or two cosmics go through just for the healers to get their logs up, but usually that doesn't happen. So just make sure, if you have to use Trank, use it. If you don't, you can save it for the last phase. So for the last phase, you kind of want to do what you did in phase in phase two, where you want to put your FRS down where the main group is. Usually ranged and melee are really stacked at this point, because... You know, if a bomb goes off, you all want to be as close as you can to the boss to get as far away from the bombs. So, you know, put your reference down in the main group and just make sure you're healing as much as possible. 
If you know there's an overlap of a bomb and then a tortured rage, you make sure you want to save cooldowns for that. For example, Trank, and just make sure you're getting it off. If you get bomb, don't even wait around to, you know, try and get as many reduce off as possible. Just literally leave the raid. Because especially what I've seen some people do is they, they wait around, especially DPS as well and heaters. They wait around to try and get as many casts off as possible on the boss with the bomb on them. But if there's a tortured rage coming and you're not topped off, you can just die and pop a bomb in the raid. And I've seen a lot of Argus wipes where that happens, where a DPS is trying to maximise as much DPS as they can. And they'll just pop a bomb and, and the raid will die. So we just want to make sure you're doing that. And if you do see the tree get low, just literally give all your hots you can to it. You know, regrowth, double rejuve, life bloom, and you'll be getting your HPS really, really high from that. And you can just save Velens or something for a Tortured Rage and just make sure you're getting as much healing off as possible. But the main thing is, if you're taking Spring Blossom, you want to make sure that you've always got the most people in your Aggressions. And just make sure you can you use your Innovate as soon as you've got it up. So on pull, use Innovate, regrowth as many people as possible, rejuve as many people as possible. Down your first yes. That's it for the ice I've got my ice and my command office. Check them out. I'll show you the game right now. Okay, bombs in three seconds. <laughs>
get ready bombs to red. XLM, you're in the wrong place. Why are you coming to me? What you what what are you doing? Why What the fuck? You're dead <laughs> look now. At dude. This, look what at this guy. What are you doing? <laughs> it's fucking amazing. It's a brave guy. What the f I can smell the, the panic in that guy. It's like what the fuck should I do? What the fuck should I do? Get 
ready to go out? Next orbs in five seconds, get ready for them. Come on, healers, cool down. Kill the orbs now. Kill the orbs now. Kill the orbs now. Kill the orbs, please. Kill the orbs. Okay, good. Now get us to a cordial, please. Defensives. Focus the boss. Get ready for soul bursts. Come on, focus the boss, please, before the bursts come in. Come on. 